Southern blotting was given by Edmund Southern at Edinburgh University in 1975. Southern blotting involves a series of experiments to determine and describe proteins and nucleic acids. The steps involved are DNA digestion, blotting the gel, DNA hybridization, and membrane analysis. The DNA sample to be analyzed is isolated and is documented using agarose electrophoresis and the gel is used for blotting. The materials required are reservoir, transfer buffer, sponge, Vacuum filter paper which is of 3 mm thickness, nylon membrane, paper towels, glass plate and weight of 2 to 4 kg. The experiment goes this way. Add 2 liters of transfer buffer to the reservoir. Place the vacuum filter paper over a support such that the paper comes in contact with the buffer solution. Stack filter papers. Now place the gel over the filter paper. Place a nylon membrane over the gel. Proper care should be taken while handling the membrane. Place filter papers over the gel which are cut to with size. Place another set of filter papers over the setup. Weight of 2 to 4 kg are placed over the setup. Proper care should be taken while placing the weight. The nucleic acids will travel from the gel to the nylon membrane through capillary rise. And the blotting is done overnight. The membrane is separated from the setup and is taken for hybridization. The membrane is packed into a probe solution and is allowed for hybridization overnight at 42 degrees Celsius. The membranes are then exposed to X-rays or using chemiluminescent methods, the results are interpreted. After the X-ray exposure, the results would appear like this.